Hi, I'm Bruce Schneier. I'm a security technologist and I work at the intersection of security technology and people. And I've done a lot of research on identity cards and they turn out to be a lot more complicated than most people think. When most people think of an ID card, they think of a piece of plastic that basically attaches someone's name with a picture. But an ID card really is an entire system of identification. And when you look at it from a system perspective, you realize it's a lot more complicated and a lot harder to make secure. For example, uh, any ID system has a database on the back end. Right? The database will include your name, your picture, whatever other information is on the card or maybe stored with your name. Right? That database is an enormous uh, piece of vulnerability. And when you hear about uh, people's credit card numbers stolen, identity stolen, nobody steals cards. People are stealing data from that database. Also, you have the issuance procedures. No ID card can be more secure than the procedures used to get that card or than the documents used to verify that you deserve that card. So we can't build an ID card that's more secure than your birth certificate. There's no way to get additional security as you move from the breeder documents, as they're called, to the card. There's also the verification procedures. Right? That card is going to be verified. That procedure is fraught with insecurities. And, and you've seen it again and again. People don't look at your picture. People don't look at your signature. Uh, anybody who is verifying, has the ability to verify your identity, can look at that database. And then again and again, we see authorized people making unauthorized queries into the database, whether it's the IRS database or your medical database. Right? So those verifiers are, are worrisome. There are also other users of that database not associated with verifying your identity. So other users are now using the database, other data comes in, the database gets bigger, and there are even more vulnerabilities. There are also a lot of unofficial verifiers of any identity system. Right? When you go into a bar, a bartender verifies your age using your driver's license. Right? That's not an official use of the ID, but it's a use that's very common. So now you have another group of people who are using the ID card. You know, we've seen instances where uh, bars will grab copies of your identity to put in their own database. So now you have an unofficial database being built of the same information. There are now ancillary uses of that database. More data comes in that starts moving into some of the various marketing databases. Right? Any errors from the beginning are now propagating through. And when you look at this enormously complicated system, you realize that the piece of plastic is just a very small part of it. Right? Making that plastic unforgeable is very little in the whole security apparatus of identity system. And when you look at an identity system, you have to look at the whole thing. And this is why you see such huge costs and such problems with identity-based systems. It's not the card. Right? It's everything around it. This is what we want. We want an identity system that will pick the bad guys out of a crowd. We want a card that says occupation evildoer. We could look at the card. If you're an evildoer, you can't fly the airplane, you can't go into the building, you can't do whatever. Right? Unfortunately, we can't have that. Right? There are inherent limitations to any identity-based security system. Right? It's the security of the system and the whole idea of identity in the first place.